Booga, Ooga, Booga. Hello, boogies. Welcome to the end of the year cancellation review. Today, we are going to rank all of the 2023 cancellations of me, and we're going to rate them by how effective they are and how good, I, how much I like them. Only two this year. The, the first one, I'm under a gag order. I can't talk about the, uh, the orphanage fire. My lawyer advised me not to speak on it. However, I would like to say the fire was not started intentionally. Order I did not mean for anyone to die. The only other one, I think, uh, was was this one, which was uh, when I did the Little Mermaid. I, I knew something. I knew. I knew. <laughs> I, I grouped this almost like jokingly as a cancellation. It's not a cancellation. It's just people critiquing. Where someone said it takes a couple videos before you realize he's a diet dude, bro, with barely anything of substance to say but plenty of corny jokes. By default, it kind of is the number one cancellation of the year. I do think that uh, every every time something comes up, anytime there's like a new critique, I feel like I learn uh, something else. Someone asked me to do a video on the Matt Rife situation on the subreddit. I, I thought about it for a second. Mostly because I like the joke of being like, hey guys, uh, today we're going to talk about Matt Rife, who is a, a guy who does comedy, and uh, he's a predominantly female audience, and he made a slightly edgy joke, and he got cancer for it. It's such a unique circumstance. I can't think of anyone else who's been through something like that. Certainly no one in this room. I just wanted to do that joke. That was going to be so funny to me, but hey, it is what it is. It was a joke about domestic violence and uh, his, his audience. I, I don't want to say turned on him, but a portion of his audience didn't appreciate the joke. But I think the interesting thing to me on that subject matter was just like the, the, the content farm factory that all of a sudden, like every commentary creator, <laughs> they just started pumping out content because it's a it's a topic with a popular person. It is like very relevant, but it's it was one of those things that it's like it's it's gonna disappear. By the time you guys are hearing about this, or by the time you watch this video of me talking about it, it's over. <laughs> no one cares anymore. But to see so many people just like jump on it and giving their opinion, and it, it just kind of feels like overwhelming. If you just like YouTube Matt Rife situation, like you're just gonna see like thousands of commentary videos. Now I'm not watching movies to be like, oh, here's my voice. I'm gonna try to criticize this thing like everyone else. But I think if you're just like a, a an observer and you're just like, I just wanna enjoy something. I don't wanna hear people criticizing it. I can understand how sometimes if I'm if I'm negative about something, it may make them feel that way. Oh, when Dylan said it, he got booed. I always cringe at the girl power scene from the Avengers Endgame. If, if 2024 gets a little bit boring with drama, I, I'm gonna flare some stuff up. All right, we're gonna do another commentary for this and I'm gonna go harder on that scene. <laughs> it's funny too, uh, this, this <laughs> Reddit has now implemented this like 2023 recap. They see the success that Spotify has with like the year end recap that they try to implement it. 130,000 people visited the, the subreddit this year. Top three comments, incoming Ooga Booga video. Oh, it's people talking about the, the, the cat Isolation of the criticism. How is Tessa more toxic than Harden? We have after analysis <laughs> as one of the top three comments. If there's more to recap. Check out these community recaps to stay in the loop. Hydro homies. I, that sounds a little gross. What's hydro homies? They got three million. What do they do here, guys? We gotta overcome the hydro homies. Hey, what are we doing here? What the hell is this? What is the? What does their subreddit look like? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, they're top one percent. We're top five percent. We're lagging behind. Although I will say 53,000 members, that's pretty special because that's more than double that we had last time. So we're still in our growth phase, baby. Top post from this year was uh, was me, of course. <laughs> Just letting you guys know, I was taking January off. I do that every year. I'm going to do that this year as well, take a January off. I do think that we can definitely get uh, a post with more than a thousand likes. That's our goal for next year. Birthday wish, someone's turning 32 today. I don't know who, because that's not me. I'm in my 20s. So we have me talking, me being celebrated, and then me being roasted. It's like the perfect balance. I feel like that's like the top three things that happen here. I talk, you guys love me, and then you guys make fun of me. <laughs> and then you guys cancel me. That's the fourth post. <laughs> Uh, you guys roasting me, uh, you guys roasting me, you guys roasting me. All right, we're, we're losing the balance here, guys. Oh, so another big milestone. The Friends video was, uh, one of the biggest videos <laughs> I've ever made. You know what part of this video this is? I can't believe it just stopped right here. Uh, like, hey, your, your comments on this video, every comment is totally valid. Except one comment. There is one comment on the Friends video I will not tolerate. The Halloween episode. And that pissed me off. Cause this happens right here, right? Ready? <laughs> what did you notice there? 
I'm going to find the comment. We're going to go through the comments quickly until I find it. Dylan making a three-hour recap of Friends and ignoring the whole we were on a break debacle is so funny to me. I, I didn't know people wanted to hear that. Like, I, I knew I knew all of it. It was like in pop culture. Like, were they on a break or not? But I've never heard anyone say, like, they weren't on a break. Like, Rachel in the episode clearly says, let's take a break. <laughs> so it's not even like a, a conversation. It's, it's that yes, they were clearly on a break, but Ross is still the a-hole for sleeping with somebody like a couple hours after breaking up with his girlfriend. I watched all of this for Matthew Perry, rest in peace. You helped make us happy with friends. Yeah, I, I will say it was sad to see Matthew Perry pass. Someone messaged me like, oh, I can't, I can't really watch the show the same because um, knowing he's gone, but I, maybe I just have like a silver lining. <laughs> I look at it a little bit differently. This is amazing to, to be able to have some of a person's like prime years and just like bringing so much joy to a, a TV show that we get to all enjoy for forever that outlives even him. I think there's something so special about that. It's almost like a capsule of his life for 10 years, or at least a part of it, and the part that brings us the greatest joy. And like, then there's movies as well. That, I don't know, that's why, that's, there's a certain beauty to film. There's something special about that. Oh, here it is, here it is. Dog, the joke for the Halloween episode uh, in season eight, where Phoebe walks in as Supergirl is funny because Monica right next to her is dressed up as a cat, or in this scenario, Catwoman. So they're sizing each other up as rivals, and that's where the laughs come in. That's not a joke. Monica dressing up as Catwoman and Phoebe dressing up as Supergirl and sizing each other up only works as a joke is if those two characters in like comic book history have like a known rivalry or uh, competitiveness of some sort. It has to be like Lex Luthor and Superman or uh, Batman and the Joker, right? Characters that have like a known contentious history. Sometimes I want to go through my comment section and just fight people. <laughs> came to say this exactly he missed the joke but to be fair it was very subtle it's not it's not a joke though i mean maybe it is but it doesn't make sense they have no rivalry so there was there'd be no reason for them to size each other up and like act coldly towards each other just wasn't a funny joke is all the problem is the premise i I'm, I'm fine with bad jokes just the premise has to be solid but if we look at the the whole year when did it start so we started with aladdin captain america Coraline. uh i don't really count this because this was just like a little preamble to the friends video Wait, hold on a second one two three four five Six, not counting update, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Did I only make 14 videos this year? Uh, Megan, the Megan video will be out by the time this uh, this goes up. But still, that's only that's that's only 16 videos. <laughs> that's something I've I've considered. I, I know I can if I get editors uh, to do the commentaries. I've never found an editor who I, I can like train perfectly to do exactly what I want them to do. There's always like something that I want to like, oh no, I, it has to be like this instead of this. But if I, if I got like three editors, I could make, uh, I could literally put out like three commentaries a week. I also want to say too, uh, you will probably notice, I just keep on this on the hush, hush, just in the background, just have this in the back of your mind. For the commentaries going forward, I, I, I did a little analyzation of myself and I know at the beginning when I started making movie commentaries, uh, it was almost purely about the jokes. At some point, I started kind of introducing more uh, like movie making stuff, like uh, different shots and, and, and talking about um, some of the directing choices and such. And like in the Megan video, I think there was like probably five to seven minutes of, of that kind of stuff that I ended up cutting out. And I think going into next year, I think I'm gonna start uh, kind of cutting back on that stuff a little bit. So you will see in a, a lot of the commentaries coming up, it'll be more joke focused. And then I think I'm going to start doing more beer in a movie or not, not beer in a movie, but like uh, late night Dylan rather, where I'll watch a movie beforehand, script something out and then cover it that way. I've done it with like reality TV dating shows and stuff. This video, Netflix won't stop making this terrible show. I, uh, one of my favorite videos still, but the format of just like watching something and then uh, impl implementing jokes and then like criticism that's thought out and concise. You'll probably see some more of that. And then, uh, oh, also Friends, or uh, sorry, The Office. That was the next beer in a movie. I kind of got messed up on that a little bit because uh, I watched, I did it. I watched it, I watched the whole thing. And then I think I, I I started watching Friends and then I started scripting that first for some reason. So now I have to go back and, and rewatch all of uh, The Office again. <laughs> so I looked it up. What's the, the total runtime of The Office? It's 72.93 hours. So 73 hours almost, and that's a little over nine days straight. So I'm gonna rewatch it, write down a script, and then I'll start working on that. And then that'll be months. That'll be months and months of, of editing. But seeing how much you guys like the Friends video and how well over that went definitely gives me more motivation to, to work on that and, and make sure that comes out this next year. Oh, a 10 day old meme. Oh, oh. When Dylan posts a banger video and then disappears for the next month. <laughs>
Let new troublemakers suggest the recommendations. Hey, you guys self-regulate. I don't even say that anymore. You guys hold people in check. I love that. The community sanitizes itself. It's very sanitary, this community. Young Dylan applying to film school. Future him knowing he's about to get scammed. <laughs> oh, I like this meme format. This is funny. Dylan getting ready to roast the movie. Joe getting ready to roast Dylan. <laughs> good meme. This is a good one. Hey, congratulations. Because not only did you do the meme, you inverted it already. Every time I think we, as a society, take a step forward, I'm corrected by this shirt. Listen, I'll tell you something. One day, you're going to die. And one day, I'm going to die. Backpack shirt will never die. When the new guy is getting a bit too popular, Dylan is in trouble, Ooga Booga. Ooga Booga was started purely for the joke so that I can put uh, the words Ooga Booga on a, on a YouTube plaque. It started from a single joke and I was like, okay, well I might as well have the channel and extend the, the, uh, the joke for a second joke. And then the TikTok video got like a couple million views in the, like the first couple weeks. And I was like, oh God, now I have to continue. And now I upload more videos per year on Ooga Booga than I do on <laughs> my main channel. <laughs> oh, how did this happen? Oh my god. Oh my god. What did you do? What did you do? I, I'm gonna be honest, I am so glad it is not my face. If anybody, if anybody in this community tattoos my face on their bodies anyway, if you ever show me, I will throw up. Do not do that. <laughs> At the very least, you have Julius. However, I gotta criticize you. Sour Patch Kids? Sour Patch Kids are out. You do make points back by having meat pack. That is my magnum opus. Oh my god. Oh, that's real. Oh. Who? Okay. I'm having like a moment right now. I, I don't know how to explain it. Like this community, I get messages from people being like, hey, it feels, feels good being here. It feels good, like uh, a nice lighthearted break. One day, you're going to die. Life can be tough. It's nice to get a little bit break from that to uh, to laugh and uh, not take things so seriously. So to see somebody tattoo like something from this community onto themselves, like I am, like this place must mean enough to you where you're like, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna mark myself permanently. I mean, since it's the end of the year, it's it's a good time to say it. Ah, uh, me, so grateful. You, thank you. Be here, thank you. you. Guys know that I'm not very good at <laughs> expressing. Expressing myself, uh, my deeper feelings. That's why we keep it nice and light. Nice and light all the time. I do, I, I look. <laughs> Swallow it down, Dylan. I do want to express my gratitude. You guys, this is like the best thing ever. You guys being here is the greatest blessing that I could ask for. I, it just, it's, it's, it gets cringy and sappy if someone, it, there's like a creator who's always like, oh my God, you mean so much to me. Shut up. Shut up, creator. Ugh, look at me, I'm all sap. What am I, uh, what am I inside of a tree? But I do realize that if, if you don't say it, uh, for every now and again, people don't know how you feel. They can't mind read. Every time I upload a video, it, it continues to blow my mind that people are like excited to come and watch. Deeply grateful for you guys. I'm so grateful that I'm gonna abandon you in the month of January. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Next year's gonna be great. I have uh, a number of things planned. Hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. Hope you guys, your new year is super special. 2024, we're going to tackle this year with a lot of fun. Make sure you guys are having fun in life. I don't, I, I feel like people always tell you to like work really hard and, and chase your dreams and stuff. And that's all important, but also like focus on what, what are, what are the things that uh, make me happy and then do those things. And I hope that uh, being here in this community brings you some semblance of joy. Love you guys. I'll see you. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.